Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and in this episode of The Haul, I'm going over the top five easiest mods you can do to your Silverado. Whether you're a truck owner who's never turned a wrench or someone with years experience modding your Silverado, these five mods are something anyone can tackle with ease in the driveway at home. I'll be covering some appearance, power, and maintenance mods that really make an impact on your truck with minimal effort. Now, before we jump into it, subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on future content, Silverado news, and product videos. Let's get to it. The first mod I want to focus on is one most truck owners do right off the bat, side steps. Now if your truck didn't come with side steps, picking up an aftermarket set is almost a must. These are the RB20 running boards and the textured black finish. Now not only are they going to make getting in and out of your truck a whole lot easier, but they play a big part in stepping up your truck's appearance. There are a ton of different styles and designs out there going from running boards like these, side steps, drop steps, and more, but they all accomplish the same task, just with different looks. Now these RB20 running boards span the length of your cab, and the entire board can be used as a slip resistant step. This particular design even looks like it could have come on the truck from the factory, so it can blend right in. Now getting these on your truck is extremely simple. You'll basically bolt a few brackets up to the underside of your rocker panel, and then the side steps themselves will bolt up to the brackets, and it'll take you about 20 to 30 minutes on each side, and you'll be ready to go, which makes these the first of the five easiest mods on my list. For this next mod, we're heading under the hood. Now, cold air intakes are known to be some of the easier mods you can do to a vehicle in general, and the Silverado is no exception. This is the K&N Series 77 cold air intake, a staple in the intake category. Now, the factory intake uses a dry paper element filter, so switching out to an oiled cotton gauze filter like this one from K&N can help your engine breathe a lot better and filter out more particles with a washable and reusable material. Now, the Series 77 tubing is a solid upgrade over the factory one as well, letting a bit more air volume come through, and the polished finish looks really good under the hood. Now, a no-tune required intake like this can still pick up a couple of horsepower and torque, also giving you a more aggressive engine sound as well. Now, when it comes time for routine maintenance, popping the filter out for a cleaning, and in this case, re-oiling, is extremely simple. With this install being just a couple of clamps and bolts, a cold air intake under the hood can make the difference that is easy to accomplish. This next mod might not be the most exciting or visually impactful, but it's got a ton of function. The JLT V3 oil separator can help prolong the life of your engine by preventing the buildup of oil sludge that could bog down your engine, robbing it of some power and efficiency. Now, oil separators like this do just that. They filter out the oil through a canister and separate any oil sludge or blow-by, which is essentially crankcase exhaust gases that make their way back into the engine that could potentially build up over time. Now, the JLT V3 oil separator bolts up pretty subtly, as you can see here under the hood, and the three ounce oil catch can collects all of the waste. There's a filter on the inside to help with that process and it basically just replaces a PCV tube from under the breather line there under the hood. When it comes time for routine maintenance, you just unscrew the catch can using that neural texture grip bottom, dispose of the oil and put it back. It's as simple as that and it's a very effective mod that has all upsides and really no downside and it's super easy to install. At this point, let's flip the truck around and talk about our next one. For this next one, we're heading to the rear to talk about one of the most common truck mods, a tonneau cover. Now, a tonneau cover is a great example of something that has a ton of functionality and also plays a huge part in appearance as well. This is the Back Industries Backflip MX4 folding tonneau cover, and it's one of my personal favorites. Now, a tonneau cover is the perfect way to protect any cargo you have in your bed from any weather elements, or potential thieves. Now the hard top adds another layer of security and it's also easy to use. All you do is pull a cord to unlock it and fold it back. Now this Back Industries one is a bit more of a premium option in the category because of its extremely high quality folding design and its ease of use. With a folding cover like this one, you can get access to your bed in sections, which helps depending on the size and shape of the cargo you're hauling at any given time. This is another category that has a ton of options, but the install is usually pretty similar across the board for all folding covers like this one. It's usually a 30 minute process, but sometimes even less, and it's something most truck owners tackle at some point in their ownership, making it one of the easiest Silverado mods for any generation. Now, while we're at the back of the truck here, let's talk about my last mod, taillights. Now, these are probably the easiest Silverado mod you can do to your truck. Taillights are literally just two bolts and some light bulb plugs, 
and that's it. Here we have the Axial smoked taillights, which have a darker lens to give you a stealthier look at the rear, along with brighter LEDs to light up the rear a little bit better. Now the factory taillights can get a little bland after a while, so switching them up to a more attractive and modernized LED technology can make all the difference to appearance. These are really bright red LEDs for your running lights, and they're gonna reuse the factory reverse light in the middle. Now overall, they're a big change up over the stock look, and best of all, they only take minutes to install. Once you drop your tailgate, there are just two bolts standing in your way of getting the light out, and from there you just unplug and plug in the new ones. Some lights in the category have some splicing involved, but these axials are straight out of the box, ready to go, making them arguably the easiest Silverado mod available. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up my list for the top five easiest mods for your Silverado. Now, if you're looking for a couple of really simple mods to do to your own pickup to personalize it, then I hope this video helped give you some ideas. Now, of course, these are just my picks. There are a bunch of other mods out there that are just as simple, but I personally think these five are a great place to start. Drop us a comment below letting me know what other mods you'd add to the list, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date for future content. Keep it right here at AmericanTrucks.com.